Well, hello everybody, and thanks for joining me. Um, it's a crazy world out right now, so I thought I would bring you a little Christmas cheer and bring you my 2020 Winter Wonderland home tour. So sit back, grab coffee, grab cocoa, whatever, and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start by, this is my porch, and this is what you see. It's not as elaborate as it usually is, but I like it. It's cozy, and there's my, he lights up, but I don't have a light in, inside him right now, so are you ready for the fun? Here we go. We had some snafus, and you're going to see them during the video, but you're greeted when you open my door by my mother's memorial tree. And my mommy down there with all her gnomes. Everything on the tree is related to my mom. This stays up year round. So it's just a nice way to remember my mom. It comforts me. It makes me feel at home like she's with me all the time. And got some car a cardinal up there and her wind chimes. And here's my living room. My foyer stays decorated like this 24-7, 365, with the exception of the nutcrackers. So this is where I'll put my Christmas cards. And we got trees everywhere, as you can see. So then we come into the living room, and here's Snowman Central. You can see in the bookshelf behind there. There's all my snowman like figurines, ceramics, and things like that. Plush. They're even under the tree. And then this is a six and a half foot blue and white snowman tree. And you'll see above, right here, all around the room, there are Christmas bears. Yet another tradition my mom would do every year. She would buy me Christmas bears since 1995, the year after my daughter was born. This is our traditional tree. It is seven and a half foot. It's huge and it's full of ornaments that were either passed down or handmade by me, my kids. We have, my daughter hates this ornament. She made it when she was five. I love it. Kind of reminds me of my pine cone owl I did for my mom. Baby pictures, just everything. This is my village. Now you'll see some of my houses are not lit up. That's one of the snafus we had, but you better believe that before Santa Claus gets here, we will have it all lit and ready to go. So there's about 12 houses that are not lit actually. So, but this is the cooking school. This is the last village house that my mom got me. Um, when I was little, my mom used to get the unpainted ceramic houses and we would paint her village and that's how it started and then we just keep adding and adding to it. There's her cat whiny. Hello whiny. I've always loved fireplaces so seven years ago me and the kids made one and with brick paper from the teacher store and lights and these are the current stockings that we hang up that Santa needs to fill. Here we have my cardinal coffee table again for my mom centerpiece I made the lights a little tiny cardinal tree here we have the nutcracker tree this is five foot and it's full of tiny nutcrackers I add at least one every year so this wasn't a four foot tree, but we had to add a bigger tree. So this, I think this is, it's either five or five and a half, one or the other. So, and then we have the couch. Hello, Dottie. Good morning. That's another one of my mom's kitties right there. These pillows were table runners. I made into pillows and this one over here was a placemat. So I make a lot of stuff. Again, another tradition that my mom would start with us. This is what's left of my Nutcracker collection. Again, every year, Mom and I would get each other a new nutcracker. Um, unfortunately, I lost half of them in Harvey. So, but this one right here is a music box. And that's the last nutcracker Mom ever got me. There are more of my bears. This <coughs> is my beautiful 
nativity scene. And under that are beautiful nativity snow globes that my, my brother gave me. So, this is my breast cancer tree. It is six and a half foot tall, and it's all pink. Um, I'm a breast cancer survivor twice. So is my aunt and a bunch of other of my loved ones. So I put this up in honor of all of us who had to struggle and fight hard against breast cancer. And anyone in the world, actually, who struggles against it. There's Runt. She's... Don't mind her. She's in the way. But this is all immediate family, but they don't necessarily live here. My uncle, my grandmother, my brother and his wife, my parents, my other brother and his wife, and then their son. So... We're going to go into the kitchen. Runt. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. This is the buffalo plaid tree. It is seven foot tall. Natural green pine. And I put the white garland so it looks like snow. And then everything on it is, as you can see, buffalo plaid. Which is like one of my favorite designs ever. Back there is my reindeer section. All my lovely reindeer. Over here, and we have, well, you know what I do for a living. My cookie tin shadow boxes. I thought those turned out really cute. This is my giant monster tree. This is seven and a half foot. When the angel's on top, her head touches the ceiling, literally. And everything on it is food or cooking related. So, we have my, there's my little mixer. And of course, you know me, there's two things that I absolutely die for, love and die for. That would be one, my bacon. And my tacos. So, you know they had to be on there. But I have pots and pans. I have colanders. Like I said, mixers. I even have a little cleaver. And that is actually a real cleaver. It came out of a cheese and meat, meat and cheese gift box that we got one year. So... This is my table with a tablescape. I made, of course, I made the centerpiece and the lamp posts with the battery operated candles. And this is my place setting for this year. It's the Buffalo Plaid Charger with my deer plates, my mugs, and then my little tiny stockings that hold our gold silverware. So that's our setting for this year. It goes kind of along with the deer everywhere. So. That was a Santa hat that I stuffed greenery into and hung on the wall. There's a little sleigh, more of my little lighted boxes, more canning supplies, and my little forest of trees all over here. Now we're coming to the North Pole where a lot of the magic happens. My kitchen is Santa themed and the North Pole. So we have a six and a half foot white with red Santa tree. And I just realized that the red lights in the middle are not showing up real well. Oh, because the white lights went out. Go figure. So, yet another snafu I didn't even realize. So, and you better believe all this is going to be fixed, but like I said, before Santa gets here. I have a crazy addiction to Santa belly with the belt, but it has other Santa stuff too. You can see head, Santa belt heads. There's another one. My Santa hot cocoa. And my lovely uh, yearly tribute, my cartoon Santa with his mask. Those right there, if you're from Texas or anywhere that has homecoming mums, well, I adapted it. And let's see if I can get around here. I made it into a Christmas mum. That one's a gingerbread theme. So on top of my fridge is some more Santas everywhere. Even on my, on my fridge, I have Santa clothespins to hang notes and stuff and Santa ornaments. Or Santa magnets. There's a Santa floor mat. I haven't mopped my floor, so don't look. But I covered my counters or my cabinets with Santa belly paper. And above, you can see all around the kitchen, another snafu. I hang icicle lights. Lots of icicle lights. So I actually don't even have to turn on the actual lights to work in here. It's great. And my cocoa bar and my coffee, hot coffee, hot cocoa and coffee bar. This mug I found at Marshall's, and gnomes are the craze this year, and y'all know my mom loved gnomes, and she used to tell us that we were making memories and we were making magic, and we found this, and I started to cry. I don't drink coffee myself, but, and neither did my mom, but this just had to be part of the co coffee and cocoa bar, because I do drink hot chocolate every once in a while, 
So this is in honor of my mom. This is new. Matter of fact, I just got that yesterday. So. And we go around. And we have Santas everywhere. I love this little stick sign. I found it at Walmart. It's all fun and games. So Santa checks the naughty list if that's not true. Another tree with lights. You know, I'm, I do canning for my business. And who didn't think that I would have a Santa belly canning jar? So, And glitter. Y'all know I love my sparkle. This, Like I said, this is literally the North Pole. There's your sign. I got a little bakery, North Pole bakery. An apron, which you'll rarely actually see me see wear. I made bows for the cabinets. Santa, Santa, Santa. That's my Santa cheese grater that I made, but I have not gotten the smaller set of lights because I just had a really long one and it would have been too bunched up and I didn't like that. So he will be getting a shorter set of lights probably later on in a little while. So, and then there's one. And then I have Santa's pants that hold all my giant utensils in when I cook. Another snow globe. That's yet another collection of stuff. So, quick pan out. That is my Santa kitchen. Like I said, there is a small snafu of lights. A six, tiny section blew out. So, I'm hoping it's just a light bulb. But if not, I'm going to be putting up another string of lights. Like, within the next couple, few hours. So, watch out, Runt. <laughs> watch out, Runt. Okay, we're coming back through the living room. Hello, Dottie. Here is the stocking tree. Stockings are yet another collection. And as you can see, they're all custom stockings. And that's because my mom made hers and taught me how. So I make all the family stockings. I used to make them and sell them as well. But all of those are handmade by me. So, and then some up there I cross-stitched. Now I have ones that are not homemade, like just from the store, because they were like incredibly cute. Like this cross stitch Santa I made. And there's a nutcracker. He's from the store. But there's boxes of lights under every tree. These are all the tiny stockings for all the kids who used to call me mom. Stockings up here. Stockings, stockings. These are all the tiny stockings for all the kids who used to call me Aunt Nay. So, this is the stocking tree. It is seven foot, fully, with white. And then... I told you I love fireplaces, so I made one. I took an old mirror from a dresser, a big one, popped the mirror off, used some scrap plywood to make sides and a, and a floor and a back, and covered it with uh, brick paper from the teacher store, and then contact paper that looks like wood so for a mantle. Then my baby got me some logs from Home Depot, and we put gold lights in there to emulate like a fire. This is my pet tree. It, again, is also seven foot tall. All the ornaments, well, 90% of the ornaments are handmade. I rescue animals. I love animals. I've always been surrounded by them. But as you can see, I got them and I painted them. And every animal I've ever rescued or that I currently have or, like my Sadie, has passed away, they're all in the tree. And we have cats and we have dogs and we have rabbits and we have little penguins underneath the tree with more lighted presents. And so that is the pet tree. So let me scan real quick. Here's from my mom in the foyer. You can see through down in the kitchen. You can see Dottie on the back of the love seat. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Like I said, that will be lit up before Santa Claus gets here. I have to go get a new power strip. So, all right, let's go down the hall. Yes, I took it through my whole house. Here we go. We have my holiday shopping bags. The reusable shopping bags I take everywhere with me, and these are all Christmas related. Don't ask. I have a thing with bags and boxes. This is my M&M tree. It's four foot. And all the M&M ornaments I collected off those candy tubes for the last 30-something years. We're not going to say how long. Um, are on this tree, along with little bags that I made into ornaments. And then this cute little, it was actually a candy dispenser. And yes, it really turns. 
but it's my tree topper. So. Oh, and we have my snowflake, my giant snowflake. It's made out of clothes hangers. You've probably seen the fad on Pinterest or something. Then we have my son's tree, uh, my son's door. It's all about my son, and his favorite was Rankin Bass movies. That's what my mom raised us on. And I eventually hope to get a large tree and do it all Rankin Bass, and that's going to be in honor of him and my mom. So, but right now, there's the big. This is an old vintage velvet, crushed velvet, like cardboard cutout, you know, that we used to get and tape on the windows when they were little. So, and then these are my new acquisitions. All of the misfit, to some of the misfit toys, the elves, Yukon. I still have a lot more to do with this, so hopefully by next year we'll have a whole Rankin Bass tree. This is my Angel Wings tree. Those of you who know me know I did a nonprofit org for Harvey, and I called it the Angel Wings. My mom helped me name it and organize it. Believe there's good in the world. There's my and my NAACP on the honor the I won. There's some pictures of my Harvey kiddos, my Harvey families, and all my plaques to remember that you can make it through everything. But this is my angel angel wings tree, and it's got blue angel wings, which you can see right here, and then pictures of all so well some I still have to get more frames for the rest of my pictures. But there are pictures of all of y'all who I helped and I got to know and who touched my heart. So, and I'm debating actually whether or not I want to leave this tree up all year long. I'm thinking I might. So, and we have some more Christmas. <clears throat> we have Christmas over here. <laughs> I have to show you this plaque. This is so funny. This is my theme. I'll be home for Christmas and in therapy by New Year's. That's so going to be me. All right, so this is my comic book. My mar ba mainly Marvel, but my comic book tree. So you can see my star has a little Captain America shield. Because my honey and my kiddos and everybody, they like the Marvel comics. And so we did a Marvel tree. There's Captain America. There's Iron Man. And we have other ones too, like there's Batman. So, and Superman's on here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. So, we got Spider-Man. But this is a comic book tree. And there's more that I have to put on it. So, this is my vintage wreath. I know it's kind of hard to see because all it's dark in here. But that flickering you see, that's me. That was the lights I'm wearing. But these are all old vintage from 60s and 70s wooden ornaments and stuff. And I put them on this wreath and with a vintage old timey ribbon it's a it's again it's a crushed velvet ribbon it's really pretty and so i made a wreath i said i love vintage and mom loved vintage there's the turkey i adopted for mom this year for thanksgiving there's my mommy here's my bathroom well my guest bathroom i should say yes i have a tree in my bathroom actually i have two so here's just a small countertop one with some teal ornaments and tree skirt to match the the bathroom decor i have as you can see i have snowmen and everything stickers on the mirror and this is my since it's a beach themed bathroom i did a beach themed tree so it is six and a half foot and very full and it goes all the way around it's shoved in here kind of actually so but it goes all the way around and i've got everything from little ornaments that i made with the sand and sh tiny shells to shells themselves. Got some more shells. I got mermaids. I've got sailboats. I've got um, lighthouses. I have starfish. And then I have some snowflakes and stuff too. But I have a ship wheel. And what are those? I can't even. I can't even remember what those are called. But one of those beach chairs. So and I have a Santa sand dollar. So that's the beech tree. Like I said, it's six and a half foot tall. So, and then the tiny tree. Hello, guys. You like my lights? I'm blinking through the whole house. So, all right. So that's the bathroom. Then, for my lovely daughter, I have the Nightmare Before Christmas tree. Four foot tall. It's in between my kiddos' rooms. And I hand painted 
faces from different characters for the movie. I covered her door in wallpaper with Nightmare. And then I made the Nightmare Before Christmas wreath. Kind of scary in the dark looking if you think about it. So, but in the daytime it doesn't look so bad. And then that one. And then there's my bedroom. These are all some of my Christmas shirts and my 12 Days of Christmas masks. You're not going to see my whole bedroom because it's like a crafting disaster. But there's a giant tree when you walk in. There's my fireplace. It gives it a real nice homey cabin feel. And then we have a small tree here in a plaid bucket. And then a tree here and a tree here. And there are two trees behind me, which I'm going to try to get you to see without the giant mess. Um, there's my tree. So let's see. Do, 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 do. If we can do this real quick. There's a tree back there, but I haven't done the lights yet. And then there's a tree over there. So, and that's my angel wall. And as you can see, front and center, there's my mommy again. So we're going to walk you through. But this is what I see at night. And it's very comforting and very soothing. And that board paper, that's just paper on the wall. It's more paper, bulletin board paper from the teacher store. So, But that's my bedroom. My Christmas shirts. And a wreath there. And a wreath there. And a tree there. And trees there. <laughs> and a wreath there. And trees. More trees. My my Harvey babies. My Rankin baby for my baby boy. My M&M's. My snowman. Mom's tree. So there you have it. That's my Wonder Wonderland, and I add to it every year, and a lot of this stuff is handmade. That's how you make memories. So, I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I hope everybody has a safe and very happy holiday. And I love you all, and I'll see you next time.